students and staff in the whole wide world. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, and a welcome-tastic day to be a Thunderbird. I would like to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory, a traditional meeting ground, gathering place, and traveling route to the Cree, Soto, Blackfoot, Métis, Diné, and Nakota Sioux. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Now for a message from our principal, Mr. Rick Stanley. Greetings, Ross Shepherd High School staff and students. Welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. I wanted to welcome everyone back and let you know how excited we are as a staff to reconnect with you students in this continued time of uncertainty. First of all, a big thank you to our staff for your committed work this summer where changes and modifications shape the planning for the start of the school year. Hey, congratulations grade 12 students for reaching this pinnacle year and your succession plan. We're thrilled to see you take on the world as your next mission. Grade 11s, you're transitioning from your first year of high school and with not really having a real picture of high school yet, we're hopeful that this gets back to normal soon. Welcome grade 10 students as you come to us from your junior high and start the last phase of your educational journey before reaching your next destination in your succession plan. With just over 2,100 students at Ross Shep this year, it'll prove to be much busier than we experienced last year. I'm privileged and honored to be the principal of such, a, such an incredible school. Ross Shepherd High School is one of the premier schools in Edmonton, in Alberta, and Canada, with high achieving programs that are second to none. Watching your teachers last year and the commitment of our student body is easy to say that at Ross Shepherd High School, we're serious about achievement. Last year was about meeting some incredible students and staff at Ross Shepherd. One of the major themes this year is about the ability to dream big. Some wise words from a dream big speech that our staff listened to at our staff meeting. Continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress and anything you want good, you can have it. Claim it, work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back, pull someone else up. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. You're an incredible group of students that I certainly have had the good fortune to see your diligence, work ethic and commitment and passion for Ross Shepherd High School in the past. And I look forward to see the new students join this work. I'm looking forward to meeting students and getting to know names. My favorite parts of the day are about supporting students and their next steps. Building those relationships become the most instrumental part of the work we love each day. My office doors are always open and our admin team is here to support you in any direction you need. Some things that are important for the start of the new year so that we're prepared to enter a new normal. Try not to blink because a school year can pass you by real fast. Teaching and learning are going to try and get back to as normalized as can be. Some things to think about when we discuss this upcoming school year. We always sanitize when we enter the building. We wear our masks. We do our best to social distance when not wearing our masks. We do not share drinks. Fountains are for water bottle filling only. Extracurricular activities are back. Field trips are allowed. Let's talk about some specifics. COVID, if you are ill with any symptoms, please stay home. It is your decision to get a COVID test or not. And the school does not need to know unless you want them to know. Here's how the COVID protocols work. If you test positive for COVID, please isolate for 10 days. If you have symptoms and don't want to get tested, then that's your decision and you return to school when you're symptom free. If you test negative for COVID, then re return to school when you are symptom free. Students should stay home with any symptoms regardless if they are COVID or not. Semester classes are back. These will continue for the full school year. Please see your assistant principal or student services to ensure that your courses are aligned for graduation, grade 12s, this year is going to fly by, so do not wait till March to check on the credit counts. We have very creative ways to support you if you find out that you're a bit short in the end. Grade 12, speaking of graduation, please ensure that you follow the announcements and check in with Mr. Oswald for grad updates. Before you know it, we'll be discussing grad plans, so the process will now begin and we want to ensure that your 2021-2022 year is a memorable one. You are the captains of the ship and leaders of the school and is our honor and privilege to support you and your next steps. 
online and in school learning, as you know, there's still an online format for the first semester only. At this time, we only have approximately 55 students, while there's 2,050 that are in school. Lockers. We are opening lockers this year as choice, meaning that you do not have to have one, and when you are ready for one, you can let your first period teacher know. Many students have asked for lockers and are hoping to have that home base in the school. Hats and hoodies. Please acknowledge our school rules we have it in place for safety and security reasons. At this time, due to masking, there is no headgear allowed unless it's worn for spiritual, religious, or cultural reasons. As an administration team, we are open, we are open to discussing this rule when COVID is gone and masks are not worn. If you're a student who would hope for a policy shift that supports students wearing headgear of any kind, then feel free to join our principal council and bring a motion to the group about shifting that policy. At this time, until it has been discussed by student leadership and school administration, the rule is status quo. Lunchtime, try to distance yourself from the masses as best you can. I know that's hard and difficult in such a ram-packed school. September is a great month to be outside. Avoid the large group scenario. Use the spaces around the school to enjoy your lunch. Our cafeteria serves some great meals and everyone also knows where the restaurants are. Utilize those open classrooms, halls and spaces to support your needs for a break in the day. Social media, this is a big one and certainly a contentious topic that I know will have some of you leaving this delivery with a mixed feeling. If I've been boring you to this point, then this one might perk up your ears. I'm going to put it out there clearly for you to reflect on. I get deflated and most certainly a heavy heart when I see social media used for negative reasons. I'm a huge proponent of positive messaging on social media and the benefits for information gathering. I don't need to explain to you the challenges and concerns that negative social media has on all of us. Frankly, it's embarrassing for our school and for you as a person if you choose to use it in ways that leave a scar. I'm not here to preach to you about decision making, nor am I here to tell you what's right and wrong. I'm here to ask you that we work together as a community, be proud of who we are when we put rhetoric out in public. Social media can have a lasting impact on people where it can be cruel, demeaning, and downright awful. We are aware of what is happening. We're also aware of contributions that are made by people on platforms. First of all, I want to thank students in the past who have messaged me about what is right and what's happening out there. Advocate, advocating for yourself and for others is a gift and a loyal attribute. This type of skill is, a, is lifelong and will serve you well. Belittling someone, attacking someone, or calling someone out does not serve you well. It will be dealt with quite thoroughly as we navigate through any process. Overall, Shep, I've been proud of our work at Ross Shepherd High School during a changing time over the last 20 months. Another year in a pandemic as one of the largest schools in the province to try to figure this out. Never mind just trying to meet staff and students. We've had to recreate re-entry protocols and try to adjust we sometimes feel like we are making decisions on the fly to meet the needs of staff, families, education, and government expectations. I feel good about where we are. To give you more clarity about what we value as important principles, I leave you with some things to think about. Your voice matters. And when you speak, please know we're listening and we're going to act on it. I take pride in knowing that our students feel that they can speak and be heard. You might think that nothing is being done or took or it might have taken too long, but rest assured, we look at the process. We take time to get through the layers of challenges in order for us to support your needs. Hey, be kind to each other. Show empathy for one another. Remember, your high school experience is three years at Ross Shepherd High School. This time goes fast, and our greatest wish is that you have felt that your high school experience has met your expectations, and then some. The experience is about what you bring to the table and how you add to it. Remember this. There are rules put in place, vast differences from school to division. What works in one school may not work in another. Our protocols are based on our demographic needs and which suits our building. We're not perfect and we're gonna make mistakes, but we also will correct them. I hope that you don't live your life around perfection and know that we are there to support if mistakes happen and you work at correcting them. We do not necessarily make decisions that are most popular with ourselves, staff, or families but it's our mission to ensure that safety and security of your well-being, academic offerings, meet your needs, and that as a school we provide you with an educational experience that we are all proud of. 
I want to thank you for listening. I look forward to connecting with you. Best wishes to you and your first semester at Ross Shepherd High School in a truly fabulous place, and I'm honored and humbled to work alongside all of you. Be well and be healthy, Shep, as we get through this experience and have one heck of a story to tell. Remember, when you have fantastic students and outstanding staff, you're going to have a great school. That's because we are Shep. Thanks, Shep.